So today we are going to do a stretch and strengthen total body pilates workout and I will divide this one into three parts warm up, strengthening and stretching so if you're ready just roll your mat let's do this together Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral. Lengthen the spine, belly button in, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale, relax your shoulders. And exhale, just lengthen the spine, hide the ribcage in and engage those up completely. I'm going to try to do it for a couple more breaths. So I'm going to inhale. And exhale. And make sure you don't lift your shoulders up wide, breathing, so inhale deeply and exhale deeply and one more deep breath and exhale deeply alright and slowly just lengthen the spine open your legs as wide as you can and we can always start with a narrow angle but listen to your body and I wanted to flex the ankle Soften your knees if it's easier for you to lengthen the spine. And I want to inhale, open your arms to the side, soften your elbows, rotate your torso to one side, lift your arms up and down. Come back to the opposite side, lift and down. And five more times each side with your own breath. So keep breathing. Four. Inhale, halfway, exhale, halfway, rotate. Three. Good. Keep breathing. Two, soften your elbows, move your whole arms, and last one, feel your oblique, it twisting. This is a great warm up movement that warm up both your arms, legs, and abs. So, I'm gonna do a side to flex the ankle, open your arm to the side again, and then flex to one side, come back, and wrap your arms to the opposite side like we're hugging a big tree to the other side so make sure you pull the belly button in and don't have to go so far just only to the point that you feel good with the lower back so keep breathing three come back two that's amazing and last one to the opposite side and slowly bring your arms back to the center hands down bend your knees keep your feet toward the center and rotate your shoulders fully to far directions and reverse good and now you want to allow yourself to cross your legs or bend your knees open your legs if it's more comfortable for you and the lower back so hands on your knees and you want to inhale articulate your spine cat and cow in sitting position and then roll your spine chin your chest so make sure you relax your shoulders and engage those abs to protect your lower back. Good, keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. And three. And round. Two. And round your spine. And last one. And round your spine and slowly bring your torso back to the center. Now you want to allow yourself to open your arms to the side and side bending. Come back to the other side, back to the center, five more times each side. So try to go a little bit further and that way you feel the side of your body is lengthening. Come back, inhale and exhale to the other side, bring it back, lengthen your arms, lengthen the spine when you're back to the center, inhale and exhale and one more time and back to the center, hands down, good, now inhale and allow yourself to sit along the mat, we are moving to the strengthening part, the main workout, so bend your knees, lengthen the spine, make sure you open your chest, belly button in, arms to the front, now I want you to inhale and lift your arms up, and bring your arms down, lean back what? chest open, so that way you feel more challenging on your abs, inhale lift and exhale backward and come back or you can reverse the breath exhale when you move forward if it's easier for you inhale lean backward and come back relax your shoulders when you bring your arms to the front good keep breathing and back slowly so that way you feel more challenging 
and more resistance on your abs. That's amazing. Come back, lengthen, and five, and lift, four, good, and three. Make sure you lengthen your spine when you sit up, two, and last one. And reach your hand all the way up to the ceiling. Now I'm going to inhale and open your torso to one side. Come back to the opposite side, back to the center. And rotate all the way so you feel the twisting from your obliques. Nine. Keep breathing. Do it slowly. Eight with your breath. Use the breath to control the movement. And seven. Good. Inhale. And exhale. And five. Press your feet down. Lengthen your arms. Three. And two. It feels amazing already. And last one. To the opposite side and slowly bring your hands down. Shake your hips. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your legs. Open your legs to be the pad. Flex the ankle. You can soften your knees slightly or a little bit more if it's easier for you to lengthen the spine. We want to open the hips and feel good here. So I wanted to inhale, lift your arms to the front, palms facing down, round your spine, flex forward, come back, shoulders down, lean backward. So do it slowly and then bring it back around your spine and lengthen the spine, lean backward. Abs working and round your spine, flex forward and then come back again. That's amazing. Do it a little bit slower so that way you feel more burn on the abs. Good, that's amazing. Don't hold your breath. Make sure you use the breath to control the movement to use your body moving with the breath. Good. And round. Come back. Chest open. Kind of feel your abs are shaking, your arms shaking when you move backward. And try to take those slowly. Move steadily and concisely. Good. Keep breathing. And last one. And chest open. And slowly bring your torso back, shake your hips, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, and now I wanted to bend your knees again, press your feet down, arm to the front, press open, lean backward again. This time hold it here, and bend one knee, pull your arm, your chest towards one side, come back to the opposite side, and back to the center with your breath. Keep breathing. Look to the front. Lean a little bit further if you feel like it's comfortable with the lower back. Try to reach your hands all the way forward and then to the side. Bend your elbows to 90 degree. Pull all the way back. That's amazing. Four. Press your feet down, stabilize your hips and your legs, two, good, and last one, to the other side, and slowly roll your spine, hug your knee to your chest, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, alright, and now I want to allow yourself to bring your hands behind your hips, close your elbows, so keep your arms parallel to each other, and inhale, press your feet down, lift your hips off the mat, Slowly push your hips all the way up and bring your hips down. And while we're doing that, make sure that you keep your shoulders far away from your ears, soften your elbows, chin to chest, look towards the front all the time. We are going to do it 10 times, so let's do this together. 10. Squeeze your inner thigh, squeeze your booty, and then bring it back, belly button in. And 9. Do it slowly, super duper slow. Come back, deep breath. Inhale all the way up, eight. That's amazing. I wanted to hear your breath. Seven, because the more we keep your breath precisely, 
the more it's effective to engage your muscles. And six, squeeze your inner thighs, keep your hips balanced. And five, you can always put your whole forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. Four, keep breathing, that's amazing. And three, inhale and exhale. And two more times with your own breath. And last one, lift. And slowly bring your hips all the way down. Hug your knees to your chest. Fly all the way down on the mat. Shake your hips, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now I'm gonna tell you yourself to keep your arms along your body. Lengthen one leg up to the ceiling and your opposite leg to the front and switch. And 10 times you got your own breath. So 10, keep breathing. Nine, press your whole shoulder blades down to the mat. Eight, inhale and exhale. Keep your back in neutral position. Don't arch your back. Six, good. And five, slower to make it more challenging. Four, that's amazing. Three, exhale every time you switch. And last one, and slowly bend both knees. And now I'm going to allow yourself to flex the ankle and start to cycle. Like we push the pedal down. So good, keep breathing. Come back. Very good. Stabilize the hips, press your hip bones down to the mat. Try to bring your leg a little bit lower when you're lengthening so that way it feel more challenging on your abs, your lower abs. And five, that's amazing guys. Four, good. And three, and two, and last one. And reverse. Push all the way to the front first and lift it up. Keep breathing. And five, four. That's amazing. Three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your feet down to the mat, shake your hips, take a deep breath, you know, deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> all right, now the next movement, lift your arms off the mat, now reach your hands all the way up to the ceiling and bring your shoulder blades down to the mat. So that core shoulder awareness, lift it up and down in five, four, three, two, and last one. Now I'm going to try to do a little bit more challenging. So I'm going to keep your feet to the center, extend the ankles and lengthen one leg. Lengthen your opposite leg without moving your hips or arching your back. So really stabilize your hips here and lengthen your opposite legs. Good. Now I'm going to allow yourself to slowly inhale and lift your arms up and down and 10 nine you can always bend your knees if it's easier for your lower abs seven and move your legs away without changing the angle on your knees uh, just lengthen your legs for more challenging and last one and slowly hug your knees to your chest take a deep breath inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right, now I want to allow yourself to lift your legs up at 90 degrees, extend the ankle, open your legs a bit apart. So if you have a resistant bend here, you can always wrap around your thighs, just on the thighs here, above the knee, knees, so that way you feel more resistant. Open your arms slightly wider, and I want to allow yourself to always just open your legs if you use a bend to the point that you feel resistant between your arms. Now I want to inhale and slowly bring both legs to one side. Keep the same distance between your legs. Or come back. And if you don't use the band like me, just focusing on 
keep the same distance between your legs and back to the center so move your knees a little bit further away so that way you can feel your abs working but make sure your back is still in neutral position so don't add your back good we're gonna try to do 10 times each side let's do this together 10 press your shoulder blades down to the mat come back back to the center move your knees further away for more challenging nine squeeze your inner thighs keep breathing good eight now if you want to make it more challenging lengthen your legs when you bring your whole legs to the side good six that's amazing keep breathing and five again always try to move your knees further away from your hips without arching your back four press your lower back down to the mat keep breathing three inhale halfway exhale halfway and two more times with your own breath good to the other side and last one to the opposite side shoulder blades down and slowly bring your legs back to the center feet down take a deep breath inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right keep your feet to the center arms along your body chin towards the knee and lift your head off the mat arms along your body start to make a little pulse with your whole arms so inhale two three four five exhale two three four five lift your legs up to 90 degrees if you want to make it more challenging good or lengthen your legs all the way to the front if you want to make it to the next level inhale and exhale and you can always use your hand to support your neck if you need to if it's easier for the neck so try to lift your chest higher and switch to the opposite side inhale and exhale and three two press your lower back down and slowly bring your head down hug your knees to your chest take a deep breath inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth that's amazing i wanted to lift your legs up flex the ankle arms along your body and inhale slowly open your legs to the side bring your leg further away and back to the center bring it back if you're a beginner do each leg at a time as long as you can stabilize and press those hip bones down to the mat to the opposite side or extend the ankle good keep breathing to the other side or both legs at a time to make it more challenging good and seven more times with your own breath six inhale halfway exhale halfway and five four feel your abs are working like crazy three your legs your booty squeezed two your inner thigh squeeze lengthen ex extend your legs all the way and last one and slowly hug your knees to your chest take a deep breath inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now the next movement i wanted to allow yourself to press your feet down lift your head off the mat and support your head open your elbows wider and inhale flex your torso chest higher and then bring it back and we're going to try to bring one knee to the opposite chest and to the opposite side like crisscross but in the easier simple version so i'm going to try to do 10 times each side with your own breath do it slowly nine keep breathing come back or you can do full crisscross if you want to make a more challenging move seven elbows wider reach your chest to the opposite knee not your elbow and four lengthen your legs stabilize your hips three exhale every time you switch 
and two more times reach come back to the other side come back and last one to the opposite side and slowly bring your head down hug your knees to your chest take a deep breath and inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready open your legs to the side your arms to the side your legs up to the ceiling extend the ankle and now inhale slowly press your shoulder blades down bring both legs to the right and to the left like we draw in a circle with your legs and then reverse inhale halfway and exhale halfway so make sure you press both hip bones down to the mat and we're gonna try to do five times each way come back round you don't have to make a really big and huge circle just go to the point that you still can keep your hips neutral and stabilized and your both hips down to the mat good and three to the opposite side that's amazing too and last one your knees still facing forward towards the chest and reverse and slowly bring your hips back to the center hug your knees to your chest take a deep breath inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right open your knees wider your feet just go to the point that you can keep together or to the point that you feel good with your lower back and your hips here so pull the belly button in arms along your body start to bring your hips just above the hips just above the mat and i'm going to make a little pause here engage your abs so five four three two and last one and slowly bring your hips down close the knees keep your legs parallel to each other open your legs a bit apart lift your hips up now i wanted to inhale arch your back and then tuck your tailbone forward and arch your back and tuck your tailbone forward and four more times with your own breath pull the belly button in three your feet stabilized two your knees still on top of the ankles last one and slowly bring your back back to neutral position and hips down to the mat shake your hips inhale deeply and exhale deeply keep your feet toward the center open your arms wider lift your hips as high as you can and at this time i'm going to inhale press one foot down lengthen one leg do it slowly come back and on the same leg five times four belly button in three good two and last one lengthen come back switch to the opposite side lengthen and bring it back five times so five stabilize your hips four three do it slowly two and last one lift and down both feet press down and now inhale lift your heels off the mat and bring your heels down ten times so ten nine eight you can lift your hips higher seven six keep breathing five squeeze your booty four three that's amazing two and last one and now slowly lift your hips as high as you can and bring it down halfway and ten times with your own breath nine belly button in inhale lift exhale down seven six keep breathing and five four inhale and exhale two and last one lift and draw your hips all the way down lift your knees up till your lower legs parallel to the ground flex the ankle arms along your body lengthen both legs and knees bend and ten times with your own breath so ten keep breathing nine come back inhale lengthen exhale bring it back and seven six that's amazing and five more times with your own breath four belly button in three two and last one lengthen and bring it back now i wanted to do it the same way but we're going to make it more challenging by lower your legs all the way 
are just only to the point that you can keep your back in neutral position still so 10 times together and each leg at a time if it's easier for the back 9 press your whole arms down, shoulder blades down, 8, inhale and exhale and 7, imagine you're like we're pushing something away and then come back, 6 and 5 more times with your own breath that's amazing, 4 belly button all the way in, 3 keep breathing in 2 and last one lengthen and then come back and feet down show your hips take a deep breath inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth good and now I'm going to allow yourself to lengthen one leg and your opposite leg lift up to 90 degrees and now slowly inhale switch leg up to the ceiling and your opposite leg down and come back 10 times on this side so 10 only bring your leg down just above the mat 9 stabilize the hips 8 you can always lift your head up 7 and when you bring your knee up switch so you feel the oblique 6 to make it more challenging 5 that's amazing 4 reach come back 3 and 2 and last one reach and bring it back head down switch to the opposite side bring your leg down to the mat good and now we're going to do the same thing so switch and come back and nine eight good and seven bring it back or head up six switch and five feel your off legs four exhale reach up three and two that's amazing and last one and slowly bring your head down to the mat all right and now i want to allow yourself to lean on one side to do some side lift so forearms down to the mat and shoulder on top of the elbow hand on hand for more support or you can always bring your hand behind your head if you feel like your arms are strong enough and you just want to keep it here for more challenging so you need to inhale flex your lengthening leg your front leg and lengthen press down waist off the mat lift your hips as high as you can and now slowly inhale lift your leg up to 90 degree and come back 10 times so 10 keep breathing 9 8 extend the angle 7 stabilize your hips 6 good and five if you want to make it easier for the balance press your hand on hand for more support three that's amazing two good and last one and slowly bring your hips down and lift it up as high as you can so ten nine eight seven six belly button in five and four more times look at your own breath three two and last one and slowly bring your hips down and now lengthen both legs rest your head down on your arm the other hand in front of your chest extend the ankle and slightly bring both legs to the front of the mat if it's easier for you to keep balance and when you move your hips and um, when you move your legs make sure your hips still stabilize here so you wanted to keep your forearm stick to your chest to have more support and lift both legs up at the same time and bring your legs down you can make it easier by each leg at a time and come back 10 times you get your own breath so 10 and 9 press both hands down to the mat 8 really engage your abs 7 shoulders far away from your ears and stabilized and 5 inhale up exhale down three two and last one good and now i want to allow yourself to inhale knees bend extend the ankle and now slowly lift your top leg just above the hips now inhale move your top leg all the way towards the back and press your front leg down to the mat your bottom leg down to the mat come back and 10 times with your own breath nine good eight seven 
keep breathing six go all the way back and five that's amazing four you can move your knee even further if you want to have more challenging but make sure you keep the same angle on your knee and last one backward and slowly bring it back to the center now i wanted to allow yourself to inhale extend the ankle and open your knee as wide as you can and then slowly lift your heel higher and bring your heel down 10 times so 10 keep breathing 9 good inhale up exhale down 7 6 and 5 lengthen the ankle 3 bring it down slowly with the breath 2 inhale and exhale down last one and slowly close the knees and now lift your heels higher just inhale open your knee as wide as you can come back 10 times so 10 keep breathing 9 try to lift your heel a little bit higher for more challenging 7 6 keep breathing and 5 4 belly button in 3 2 and last one open come back and slowly bring your leg down the last challenge for the psychic series i wanted to put your forearm down top leg to the front bottom leg to the back lift your hips as high as you can and now slowly inhale lift your top leg up and to the front again so 10 9 keep breathing you try to lift your hips as high as you can 7 good 6 and 5 try to engage your abs four inhale lift exhale down slowly two and last one and slowly bring your hips down that's amazing guys hug your knees to your chest take a deep breath inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth good and then let's go to the opposite side to the psychic series on the opposite side so i wanted to allow yourself to put your forearms down to the mat again lengthen your bottom leg and your front leg just bend so inhale flex the ankle on your lengthening leg here lift your waist off the mat hand behind your head and lift your hips as high as you can and now slowly inhale lift your leg up and bring your leg down 10 times so 10 9 keep breathing 8 keep the same angle on your knee 7 you can put your hand on hand if you think it's easier for the balance and 5 4 good 3 that's amazing 2 and last one all right and now slowly bring your hips up and down 10 times so 10 9 8 as high as you can six and five that's amazing four three two press your whole forearm down last one and slowly bring your hips down rest your whole torso down and your head on your arm the other hand in front of your chest and extend the ankle and now i'm going to allow yourself to inhale and slowly bring both legs up at the same time and then down to the mat 10 times to get your own breath or easier version each leg at a time so let's do this together 10 9 keep breathing 8 7 and 6 and 5 belly button in 3 2 and last one and slowly bring it down both knees bend all right and now lift your leg just above the hips move your leg all the way towards the back and then towards the front again 10 times so press your lower leg down to the mat and nine inhale and exhale eight and seven that's amazing six inhale keep the same angle on your knee stabilize the hips and four three two and last one backward and forward and bring your leg down open your knee as wide as you can and then lift your heel higher and bring your knee down 10 times so 10 squeeze your inner thighs 9 stabilize your hips 8 7 relax your shoulders don't make any tension in your shoulder and 5 
four, that's amazing, three, two, and last one, and slowly bring your knee down, and now lift your heels higher, just inhale, open your knee as well as you can come back 10 times, so 10, keep breathing, nine, try to lift your heel a little bit higher for more challenging, seven, six, keep breathing, and five, four, belly button in, three, two, and last one, open, come back, and slowly bring your leg down, all right, and now I want to allow yourself to put your forearm down again, top leg to the front, bottom leg to the back, lengthen, pull the belly button in, and now inhale, lift your hips as high as you can, so you can use your hand on hand, if it's easier for the balance, now inhale, lift your leg up, and bring your leg down to the front again 10 times, so 10, keep breathing, 9, or you can extend the ankle, 8, as long as you activate your ankle, that's fine, 7, 6, good, and 5, inhale up, exhale down, 3, 2, good, and last one, and slowly draw your hips down, Again, hug your knees to your chest, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath, and exhale deeply. All right, and now I want you to allow yourself to inhale, open your legs as hip width apart, sit along the mat, flex the ankle, hands behind your hips, close your elbows towards the back. And now I want to inhale, bend your elbows, lean backward. So lift your hips up, engage your abs, put your shoulders far away from your ears and make sure you always look to the front. Don't pull your chin up to the ceiling. And I want to allow yourself to inhale and slowly bend one knee and lift your leg up and down 10 times. So 10, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, keep breathing, and 5, four, that's amazing, three, two, and last one, lift and down, and slowly lengthen your opposite leg, engage your abs, put your shoulders far away from your ears, and bend your opposite leg, extend the ankle, lift and down, and nine, you can put your whole forearm down if it's easier for the wrist, keep your hips balancing, six, and five, four, that's amazing, three, two, and last one, and slowly bend your knee, hips down, hug your knees to your chest, take a deep breath, you know, deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, good, and now I want to allow yourself to slowly lengthen your arm, lean on one side, your front, your top leg to the front, and knee bend, your bottom leg, flex the ankle, and now I want you to move your hand to the point so that you feel your shoulder just on top of the wrist. Belly button in, soften your elbows. And inhale, lift your hips as high as you can, hand over your head. And slowly bring your hips down. So I want you to do it for five times here each side. And five, come back, four. That's amazing. Three, you can always put your forearms down if it's easier for the wrist, two, and last one, and slowly bring your hips down, and then slowly put your leg up just above the hips, and flex the ankle, make a little pulse here, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and slowly bring your leg down, lift your leg up, top leg up and bottom leg up higher, so I'm going to try to do 10 times like this, so 10, you can bring your hand behind your head, come back, and 9, engage your abs, keep breathing, 7, forearm down if it's easier, for the wrist, 6, that's amazing, and 5, bring your leg up and down with control, 4, slowly, with the breath, 3, good, and 2, and last one, and lift and down, and both knees bend, and switch to the opposite side. So again, forearm down, or lengthen your arm if it's more challenging for you, or if it's okay with the wrist. So four, 
top leg to the front and lengthen your bottom leg and inhale lift your hips as high as you can hang over your head and slowly bring your hips down so I'm going to do it for five times here each side and five come back four that's amazing three you can always put your forearms down if it's easier for the wrist two and last one and slowly bring your hips down and then slowly put your leg up just above the hips and flex the ankle make a little pulse here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and slowly bring your leg down all right and now i wanted to allow yourself to put your forearm down if it's easier for the wrist and now inhale lift your top bottom leg up and then your top leg up and 10 good nine keep breathing eight pull the belly button in seven try to move slowly with the breath six inhale up exhale down and five squeeze your inner thighs four good three and two more times try to lift as high as you can last one work your inner thighs and slowly bring your hips down that's amazing hug your knees to your chest take a deep breath inhale deeply and exhale deeply all right that's the strengthening part for the main workout today and now let's move to the stretching part to complete the workout so this is going to be deep stretch i will i hope that you will join me until the end so i'm going to inhale just bend both knee to one side lengthen your arms and inhale flex and bend your torso and come back so i'm going to try to do 10 times with your own breath nine pull the belly button in eight reach your hand a little bit further seven good open your chest to the front six and five come back feel the side of your body is lengthening three two good and last one and slowly bring it back lift your hip up and back to the center and ten times do it slowly with control. Nine. Good. Eight. You can push your hips a little bit forward. If it's more comfortable, if it's comfortable with the lower back. Six. Very good. And five. Bring it back. Four. And three. Inhale. And exhale two that's amazing last one and slowly bring your hands down we're going to move to the opposite side so bend your knee a little bit wider if it's more comfortable for you arm to the side and lean on one side come back and 10 times with your own breath good nine shoulders relaxed eight seven lengthen your arms six and five that's amazing four inhale and exhale and three more times with your own breath two and last one and slowly bring your hands down all right and now lengthen your arm and lift your hips all the way up hand over your head and then come back ten times so ten and keep breathing nine engage your abs to protect your lower back eight try to go all the way seven soften your elbow a little bit to feel good with the knee with the wrist six and five you can move backward a little bit so that way both knees on the mat two and last one and slowly bring your feet back to the center take a deep breath inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth good and now i want to put your forearm down to the mat lean on one side 
and then this time move your top leg to the back so you can use your hand to hug your ankle or if it's more comfortable for you just release and push your top leg all the way as far as you can as long as your hips still on hip and stabilized heel and I wanted to allow yourself to lift your hips up hand over your head and just make a little pull with your arm here for 10 relax your head 9 relax your shoulders 7 6 that's amazing 5 and 4 3 2 and last one and slowly bring it back we're gonna go to the opposite side so again forearm down try to reach your ankle if it's comfortable for you and if it's not just hold it there and let it there and I want to inhale bring your hands over your head make a little pause again try to reach your side of your waist as high as you can your hips as high as you can so 10 Relax your head, relax your shoulders. Eight and seven, six, keep breathing. Five, four, belly button in three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Sit along the mat, knees bent, legs open hip width apart, hands behind your hips. Now close your elbows, try to open your chest and arch your back. And now I'm going to allow yourself to inhale, look to the front, try to really push your chest open and your arms backward. Inhale, look up to the ceiling, or just as far as you feel comfortable with the neck. And then slowly bring it down to your chest. And lift up and down in three two good and last one and slowly look to the ceiling to the front and look to the front rotate your head to one side to the opposite side back to the center lift your hips up hips as high as you can lengthen your arms put your shoulders down lift your heels off the mat and bring your heels down and five more times with your own breath four chin your chest all the time three two that's amazing and last one and slowly bring your hips down lengthen your legs lengthen your torso lengthen your arms bring it to the front and round your spine flex forward so make a little gentle shakes with the hips here and I want you to lengthen the neck look down to the mat inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth very good and when you're ready slowly bring your torso back sit tall lengthen the spine inhale deeply and exhale deeply all right and now I want you to allow yourself to soften your elbows open your chest to one side shoulders relax arm over your head Bend your elbow so that way you feel the back is really stretching here. And lengthen your arm. So try to go a little bit further. You're going to feel the side of your shoulder and the back is really stretching in a good way here. You can bend your knees if it's easier for you. Last one. And slowly switch to the opposite side. So soften your elbows, hands over your head and bring it back to the center. Three more times with your own breath. Two, inhale and come back and last one. And slowly rotate, interlace your fingers, lengthen your arms, lift and down and five more times with your own breath. So five, don't have to go so high. Four, just as high as you can. Three, two, and last one, lift and down, elbows bend, slide your hands along the spine, close your elbows to the front and open. And five, four, good, three, two, and last one. Hold it here for a couple of seconds. Now I'm going to try to slide your hands towards each other. So until you reach your elbows, or don't have to go all the way, just again, listen to your body, go as far as you can. And now slowly rotate your torso to one side. Come back to the opposite side. Back to the center, slide back. Open your elbows wider. And then 
to the opposite side. So your opposite hand go in between your spine and the other hand. And reach again and rotate and to the opposite side. And back to the center. Open your arms, rotate your torso and hold it here. Relax your shoulders. And three, you can lengthen your legs to flex your ankle. Two and one to the opposite side. So make sure your legs stabilize your hip. The sitting bone stabilize, press down to the mat and slowly rotate back to the center. Shake your hands. Now I want you to lift your arms to the front of the mat, shoulders relax, flex your spine forward, round, and then come back, shoulders down, come to sitting position. So five times here, round, flex, and back, lengthen, four, good. Bring it back, three, Exhale when you flex, and two, relax your shoulders when you bring your torso back to the center. Last one, and slowly bring your hands down. That's amazing. Now I'm going to open your legs to one side and bend your knee, your opposite knee. Flex the ankle, and now slowly lean all the way, hand over your head again. Now rotate the torso and look down to your knee just as far as you feel good with the lower back but I also want you to feel like the side of your body just about the hips is lengthening and feels so good here and slowly rotate back hold it here for a couple of seconds lengthen your arm and relax soften and just go with the natural curve relax your hand and lengthen your arm again and slowly bring it back. That's amazing. Now we're going to switch to the opposite side. So lengthen your leg, flex the ankle, and go all the way, hand over your head. Good. And then relax your elbows, relax your hand, and lengthen your arm. And one more time. Slowly come back. And flex your torso, look down to your knee and rotate back and bring your torso back to the center. All right, and open your legs all the way both sides. So, I wanted to you know flex the ankle, walk your hands to the front, and forward, just go as low as you can so you can listen to your body and listen to the lower back. Now, gently pull the belly button in to support your lower back. Extend the ankle if you can, if not, it's totally fine. Listen to your body, you know, deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And now reach your hand to the front, lengthen your arms. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, so I'm going to move a little bit backward. Good. So take a deep breath, inhale deeply and exhale deeply. And go a little bit further. If you feel flexible enough, go all the way down. If not, it's totally fine. And again, we just listen to our own body and do what feels good. Feel relaxed and also gradually feel good. <laughs> and slowly walk your hands back to the hips. Shut your hips, take a deep breath. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And bend both knees. So I want you to keep your feet towards the center. Open your knees wide or make a little pulse with the knees. And five, four, lengthen the spine. Three, good, two, and last one. And now slowly rock your hips from left to right. <laughs> That's amazing. Bring it back to the center. Now close the knees, go all the way to the beginning of the mat and we're going to do rolling like a ball. So lift your heels off the mat, hand, hug your shin, round your spine, pull the belly button in and try to lift each leg at a time so that way to the point that you can keep balance on your sitting bones. And I'm going to inhale, open your elbows wider. Now chin your chest and really put your shoulder, your spine rounding. So when you roll down to the mat, only go to the shoulder, not your head. So that way it can protect your neck. And I'm going to try to do it one more time, one time before we start to do it together. So inhale down, only to the shoulder, and then come back, 
keep balance without putting your feet down. If you have to put your foot down, if you have to put your feet down to keep balance, it's totally fine. So we're gonna try to do five times with your own breath. Just give a little bit of massage that we really need for today. So right your spine, elbows open and down and come back and lengthen your spine if you can. Good. And four. Inhale and exhale. Use your abs to roll up, not the momentum. Three. Open. And two. Again, only go to the shoulder. And last one. Chest open and slowly bring your feet down. Shake your hips, take a deep breath. And you know, deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Go a little, pull, uh, go backward a little bit and lift your legs up. Try to keep balance here again. Extend the ankle, elbows open, round your spine and roll down again. Inhale and exhale, come back. So this seems a little bit easier. So we're gonna add a little bit more challenging to this movement. So when you go down, round your spine, lengthen your legs, bend your knees and come back using the core to roll up, not the momentum again. So five more times with your own breath. Inhale, round, lengthen, come back, do it slowly. And four, three, I forgot to lengthen the legs. So keep breathing. And two, make sure you wait until your shoulders touch the mat and then you lengthen the legs. And that way you're gonna really feel your abs working there to lengthen the legs and then come back and slowly bring your feet down. Shut your hips, take a deep breath and you know, deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And you please feel free to pause the video and practice here as much as you can until you get to the point of perfect technique. All right, but if not, it's totally fine. Just a little bit stretch for today. So I wanted to allow yourself to cross the legs, open your arms to the side and start to reach your hand to one side and to the opposite side back to the center and five more times each side with your own breath four keep breathing reach and three inhale and exhale two and last one reach and back to the center lift your arms up and arms down and lift come back and four now feel free to bend your knees open your legs if it's more comfortable for the hips and to lengthen the spine, that's amazing. Two, and last one, up and down, palms facing up, and rotate the wrist, reverse, and palms facing down, and rotate the wrist, and reverse. All right, lengthen your hands, your arms here, and extend. Make a little pose, relax your shoulders, lengthen the spine, up, engaged. And then flex, make a little pose again. Take a deep breath and exhale. And bring your hands down on your knees, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. Reverse. Alright, and now I'm going to allow yourself to round your spine here, shoulders relaxed, and then slowly articulate your spine, go to the front, and then round your spine, chin your chest, just like a dance. So keep breathing, like a Bollywood dance. <laughs> Good. And three more times, you got your own breath. I'm not sure if you, if, if you ever know the Bollywood dance, and probably it's not really similar. It just Kind of related to that image when I do this movement. Good. Relax your shoulders all the time. And now I wanted to actually articulate your spine first and round your spine, bring it back. And four more times with your own breath. Three, two, good. And last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Bring your head to one side. Relax your shoulder, really feel the side of your neck is stretching. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and reverse to the opposite side. Relax your shoulder 
and hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and back to the center. Now rotate your head to one side, chest open, lengthen and relax your shoulders, and look down to your shoulder. And come back to the other side. Shoulders relaxed and look down. And slowly rotate your head back to the center. Rotate your head around your neck. So you know halfway, exhale halfway, and then reverse. And one more round. Go fully to four directions and reverse. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And reverse. Now hands behind your head. And round your spine. Elbows to the front. Chest open. Shoulders relaxed. And three, two, last one. And then slowly look up, all the way, and then come back, look down, lengthen your arms to the side, and reach your hands up while looking down, and open your arms to the side, and three, deep breath, two, last one. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Shake your hips, take a deep breath, you know, deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And then you can interlace your fingers, put your forearms to the front, and push your hands all the way to one side. Go a little bit further to the opposite side. Back to the center. Reach your hands all the way up. And down. And three. Two, and last one, and slowly bring your hands down, rotate the wrist, reverse, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, and you can just stay here for as long as you want, if you need to pause the video, so just take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, relax your shoulders, Inhale, and exhale, and close your eyes, feel how your body keep balance on the mat, and deep breath, one more time, open your eyes slowly when you're ready, and that's the work of today, thank you so much for joining me, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.